I've been trying to warn the church about this for years, considering that I have a very good understanding of what the Hollywood industry is about, and I've also lived in Hollywood for a long time. One of the main things that the Lord has always put on my heart is to expose the wickedness in the Hollywood music industry, considering that witnessing this type of stuff is a vital part of my testimony. And at first, when I tried to warn the church about this, it fell on deaf ears. But eventually, the puppets of the devil validate everything that I'm saying with their own pride that will be their downfall. What's going on? guys it's big nick back for another video thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today before we get into today's video if you guys like christian content please give this video a like subscribe to my channel down below if you are new and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video without further ado let's get into it ariana grande just admitted on a podcast that she's a literal witch but nobody is talking about it she recently went on a podcast to promote her new album and not only does she boast about doing tarot card readings but also talks about how she dabbles into a strong and even flat out says she's a literal witch in the interview. Now before I show you this interview, I need to address something first. Almost three years ago, I warned the body of Christ that Ariana Grande was a high-ranking witch, and I got mocked and scoffed at. Back in 2021, I posted a video exposing the Luciferian agenda with music frequency programming, and someone asked me about Ariana Grande in the comment section, to which I replied, she's a high-ranking witch. Lukewarm Christians hit me with laughing emojis and even said that I was reaching for saying that. Now, almost three years later, she openly admits that, but nobody seems to care. The sad reality about these demonic artists is that a lot of their fans are under heavy witchcraft, and whenever you criticize their overtly satanic motives, the demons that they've imparted onto their fans start manifesting when you criticize them. The demons that have been imparted into their fans usually arise in a defensive attitude or a mocking one. No Christian should be listening to these people, and after you watch this interview, you're gonna see the satanic agenda that I've been warning about for years come to fruition. The role of astrology in your life has meaning, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, even tarot cards. When yeah, I went to the studio, yeah, yeah. you gave me a reading. You've been doing readings on set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you look to astrology for? Is it understanding of what you're going through? Is it an understanding of what will be? Yeah, I think it's kind of a, a tool to help us hear what we need to hear sometimes and kind of look forward with hope and awareness and also <laughs> reads us for filth sometimes. <laughs> sometimes we need to hear it and just looking to something bigger than us to kind of help us make sense of it. Does that make sense? Totally. People will literally search for answers in anything other than God. Astrology is witchcraft and God hates witchcraft, period. The reason why astrology is witchcraft is because you're accessing the spiritual realm illegally and you're trying to bypass the spiritual laws that God put in this natural world. The only way that you're allowed to enter the spirit realm is through faith and through the door that God has opened for you. Because as a Christian, you can enter the spirit realm legally, but in the kingdom of Satan, they want to completely rebel against the rules and ordinances that God put in place of the natural and the supernatural world. And that's another reason why the prophet Samuel told King Saul in the book of 1 Samuel that rebellion is as divination because the two go hand in hand with one another. And this is the world that we're living in. We're living in a rebellious era that has completely rebelled against the things of God to the point where people are just openly flaunting their witchcraft. Most of the occultists in Hollywood will try to promote this false teaching that you can find the answers of the universe by dabbling into the things of Satan, but their entire motive for teaching you that is to pull you away from Jesus Christ. In the book of Enoch, it shows that a fallen angel taught men and women about astrology. Now, some people may be like, why are you talking about the book of Enoch? It's not in the Bible. You're a heretic. You're a false teacher. You're a false prophet. I can't believe I watched this video. I can't believe I supported you. I can't believe I trusted you as a biblical scholar. I can't even watch your videos anymore. Well, to be frank with you, the Book of Enoch was found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, which is one of the greatest archaeological findings that we have to validate the authenticity of the Bible. So if the Ethiopic Book of Enoch was in the Dead Sea Scrolls, which goes all the way back to the very ancient manuscripts, then I'm going to take it serious and I'm not going to write it off just because it's not part of the 66 books. The 66 books that we have in the Bible are amazing and you should read every one. But once you've read every one, you should look at extra biblical literature that can be verified and backed up with real archaeological discoveries. 
don't be looking into all of that if you haven't read your Bible yet. Finish your Bible first. There's a reason why the books are in there. <laughs> As many of you know, in the Bible, in Genesis 6-4, the watchers left their habitation and rebelled against God by mating with the human woman that were on the earth and created giants or Nephilim. Now, in the book of Enoch, it talks about how these same watchers actually taught mankind forbidden occult knowledge, and one of these topics was astrology. In 1 Enoch 8, 1 through 3, it reads this, And Azazel taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments and the use of antimony and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. And there arose much godlessness and they committed fornication and they were led astray and became corrupt in all their ways. Simjaza taught enchantments and root cuttings. Amaro's the resolving of enchantments. Barakijal taught astrology. You see, this is in the book of Enoch. A fallen angel taught humans how to do astrology. This is straight from the devil. Now let's watch the rest of the interview and you can see that Ariana Grande is fully aware that she serves Satan and even clarifies that she's a literal witch and says, I'm not kidding, right after. It's pretty obvious at this point. Is there something to, when you're making music, just letting go to the universe and or wherever your brain will go? And just seeing what happens. Is there an in between anywhere where like craft Absolutely. meets the I, universe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm somewhere in between. I've learned. I don't know. I sit somewhere between being a literal witch, <laughs> literal witch. I'm not kidding. And being like the most realistic, cut, dry, like, you know? Yeah. I know y'all heard that. I know you guys heard that. She said that she's a literal witch. And then she doubles down saying, I'm not kidding. Guys, I tried to tell you this years ago. Y'all literally thought I was on something for saying this, even though I've been sober since I got saved. Praise God for that, by the way. <laughs> Notice how she stands firm and reiterates that she's a literal witch and even ends it with, I'm not kidding. When these Luciferian elites tell you who they are, believe them. When all the lukewarm Christians persecuted me three years ago for saying that she's a high ranking witch, I never took it to heart because God gave me a revelation about this personally and I have a personal relationship with God the Father like we all do if you've been saved and born again. So if you're a brother or sister in Christ that persecuted me for saying this, I don't even want an apology. I just want to use this as an experience, as a way to wake up the church and stop tolerating Jezebel to speak divination into your ear gates. Most of these artists are witches or warlocks and with Ariana Grande specifically, she's operating in a full-on Jezebelic spirit but she cloaks it with a Delilah spirit. Jezebel and Delilah often work together when demonically using a person. But the one who wears the cloak of Delilah will often act more bubbly and feminine to masquerade Jezebel's true domineering personality. When people think of witches, they tend to think of snarly, ugly woman. But that's just the programming that the TV has done in the movies and the shows to brainwash you in what a true witch actually looks like. Most witches that you'll meet are very similar to Ariana Grande. They have an appearance of kindness and harmlessness, but that's the deceptive cloak that Delilah will wear to completely get someone's guard down. And it seems like Ariana Grande has a lot of Ahab men who are just condoning this behavior and fascinated by it, but she needs an Elijah to tell her that you need to repent and seek the true and living God, Jesus Christ. Music is extremely spiritual, and that's why the devil will put spiritually wicked people at the very top to speak words of death over you with melodically good sounding music. The melodies are great, and Ariana Grande is undoubtedly a very talented artist. I mean, I don't listen to her. I'm a man. I think it's kind of weird if you're a guy and you listen to Ariana Grande, but anyways, that's just my opinion. That's not biblical. <laughs> but obviously, you know, she's a huge artist, so you do hear the mainstream songs, and she has an amazing voice. But she's very well knowing that she's using her talent for satanic reasons in order to lure her audience in with witchcraft. It goes to show that these people will go to great measures just to pull you away from Jesus Christ. And the devil is working overtime, which shows you how much he hates humanity, but more so the hatred that he has for the one and true living God, Jesus Christ who openly disarmed the entire satanic kingdom when he died on that cross and resurrected again. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you made it all the way to the end and you don't rock with witchcraft, I want you to comment down below, witchcraft is whack. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, you can do so with the offering link that I have in the description, or you can buy my merch, which is also linked in the description. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim, yeah he reigns.